Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we'll talk about the first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, as well as the fifth generation of the network. And before we proceed, I just give a brief concept on the cellular. So how the cellular system works it's based on the frequency spectrum and based on the frequency spectrum it will be divided into discrete channels so these discrete channels are assigned in group to geographic cells covering a service area the discrete channel are capable of being reused in different cell with diameters ranging around from 2 to 50 kilometers. So the service area is allotted a radio frequency RF transmitter. Various adjacent cells operate on a different frequency to avoid the interferences between the frequencies. So the cellular phones begins as a simple two-way analog communication system using the frequency modulation for voice and frequency shift keying fsk for transporting control and signaling the information other cellular system are digital cellular system cordless telephony the satellite mobile and paging Analog cellular system fall in the first generation category, so 1G for the first G, and digital cellular low power wireless fall in the second generation of the network. So we have one uh one G or first generation and second G, 2G, second generation. So that are the concept of the cellular it has the frequency spectrum and being divided into several channel so here we have uh, 1g 2g 3g oh here okay look at this part Here we have 1G. Here 1G use the circuit switch analog signal and only cover for the analog voice. If we go for the second generation of the network, it use the circuit switch and digital signal, digital transmission signal, voice or data overlay. 9 kilobit per second or 19 kilobit per second the speeds in terms of the speed 1g system uh, were released in 1990 and to be used in gsm it is analog such as amps that use fdm to divide the bandwidth into specific frequency and assigned to the individual cell apart for the 1G for the second G system okay uh, this is mobile system in digital and use either TDMA or CDMA method for the multiplexing and digital cellular system are digital modulation and have several advantages over the analog system compared to the first generation um, including the utilization of the bandwidth uh, more privacy and incorporation of error detection and correction and then we have 2.5 g system okay this one 
add latest bandwidth technology to the current uh, 2G system. So support faster wireless data uh, services means the extension of the uh, GSM. So it support higher data rate transmission for the web browsing and also support a new browsing format language called wireless application protocol wap okay, the difference upgrade path include the high speed circuit switch data hscsd gprs and edge means the speed is uh, become faster and then the next part we have 3g in the 4g system so in 3, 3g and 4g it used the packet switch okay compared to the previous one it used the circuit switch this one it used the packet switch transparent roaming 2 megabit per second identification of color location so it has the color location we can detect the color uh, location if we're using the 3g and 4g uh, system so this quite latest generation has the wider uh, bandwidth and high data rate compared to the previous one for the mobile user okay these are the difference for the first generation it used only for the basic voice service analog you know analog based protocol so the speed is just like 2.4 kilobit per second and then upgrade to the 2g second generation okay those are the wireless network because we talk about the mobile network okay okay two uh, second generation designed for the voice and improve the coverage of this first generation so at this here it being introduced the first digital standard gsm cdma okay the next part, the third generation, designed for voice with some data consideration, multimedia, text, internet. That's why when we talk about the mobile device, the, uh, the evolution of the smartphone, the, the, the evolution of the mobile phone. Okay, in 3G phone, we have the 3G video call. Okay, because of this generation of the network. So first mobile broadband this one we heard about the broadband because we have the 3g or third generation and then the speed is uh, faster compared to the previous one and for the 4g generation or four generation system designed primarily for data ip based protocol lte you can look at your phone signal at the cellular network you can check on the EDGE uh, LTE okay, at your smartphone cellular and through mobile broadband so it's, it's faster compared to the previous generation of the network okay, this one is summarization you can compare uh, between the first generation and the fourth the, until the fourth generation and these different generation has different mobile device this is the phone used in the first generation this is the phone that we use in the second generation and then at 2.5 to 3g these are the phones at this part we have the touch screen phone that developed by the apple and then for 4g uh, all phone are quite similar just a flat screen phone okay so supposedly at the end of this uh, video you have you are able to uh, describe the generation of cellular network okay we only talk about the first second 2.5 third 4g and we have the 5g the 5g so
So this 5G is the next generation of the 4 LTE mobile. So it's coming in 2020. It's already here. So 10 times more faster compared to the 4G. But the coverage is still not wide the right now okay the speed up to the one gigabit per second very fast low latency and has high capacity okay not an evolution of 4g but it's full new mobile system so hopefully the 5g coverage in malaysia will be uh implemented in the faster way so we can have the advantages of the 5g network where we uh browse the information okay this one is the long-term evolution we have 4g lte so long-term evolution so lte is uh stand for the long-term evolution a standard of high speed wireless communication for mobile phone and data terminal so it's seen in the sense of each technology lte and 4g so the difference is lte is a faster 4g lte is the most advanced in terms of the speeds and 4g lte network are still under construction in many places and coverage is not available all over the country yet and now we move to the 5G. Certain area already covered on the 5G coverage, but we still wait for the fully implementing the 5G network in our country. Okay, this one is comparison the speed between 3G, 4G, and 5G. And then this one is potential use of the 5G for the Vanet vehicle area network. You use the cloud based system, you will be able to sleep in the software, update uh, for the music entertainment, navigation data, and so on, because it has the faster speed. And then download time for the high definition full length movie will be in second, not in minutes, hopefully. If we're able to implement the 5G network in uh, our area. So 5G speed offer the potential for simultaneous language translation between people. If they're attending the teleconference. This one is the imagination. But hopefully with the 5G network we're able to go or to make the imagination as the reality. So for further... And for the 5G, you can watch this video. Okay, and then there are several links. Definitely, you can go and browse for the information. Okay, so at the end of this video, you should be able to know about the first generation, what is the cellular concept, the second generation, third generation, 2.5 generation, fourth generation, and fifth generation. You should be able to uh, to differentiate or to distinguish between those generations. So the next video, we will discuss on the short-term message. So that's all for today. For this video session, thank you and Assalamualaikum.